So here we are now with the PO16 from Teenage Engineering, the factory, which is like the lead synth in this range. And it operates in a very similar way to the sub, the PO14. So we have 15 different sounds and a little micro drum machine on button 16 there. And I'm not in right mode at the moment, no record icon, that little record icon, not in right mode. So we can just trigger the, the sounds here. So I'm gonna hold sound and press button one, and then I activate sound one. And then we can play, uh, well, not chromatically, because we don't, as we were saying in this video on the sub, you don't get any, it's only white keys, no black keys, but we can play a bit like a keyboard there. And then knob A and knob B, it depends on the sound really, but they kind of change I don't know, filters, bit of distortion, but it really depends which sound you have loaded for the effect that these knob A and B has. So I'll go load sound two now. So it's a bit like knob B is a bit like a sort of driven filter. And that's a bit more like a sort of screamy kind of resonant sort of filter. So yeah, depends on the sound and 15 different sounds to play with. Really nice. Quite playful little sounds. And they get a bit more kind of effecty, I guess, as you get sort of higher up to step 13. A bit more of a kind of an effect noise, really. And then we have on step 16 or button 16, hold sound button 16. And we have this uh, micro drum machine, so 16 different drum sounds to provide a bit of a rhythmic element to our kind of lead synth patterns there. So say if we now look at the pattern slot or the pattern button, so Gonna hit play now. So as with the other pocket operators, we have 16 different patterns. And then we can chain patterns together. Holding pattern, press say pattern eight, seven, six. And you can chain up to 16 different patterns. So you, you can also double up on patterns. So I can have pattern one three times, press one three times whilst holding pattern and press two once. And then it plays pattern one three times and pattern two once. So really complex patterns you can get going there. And say if I load in say pattern nine now, you can very quickly change the sound for pattern nine. So if I hold down the sound button, press any one of the 16 different buttons and it loads in those different sound presets into that pattern. So very quickly and easily clear patterns, hold down key and pattern to clear the active pattern or say we can copy patterns very easily as well. Loaded in pattern seven there. What I can do now, if I hold right and then pattern, and see pattern seven is flashing, and then I can press any, any one of the other 16 or other 15 slots and paste it in. I pressed eight there, so now if I load in pattern eight, it's, it's copied that pattern to pattern eight. So you could make like a variation of the pattern in another slot and trigger from one to the next, which is quite nice. Then we've got the BPM button. Hold it down and this functions as a volume. 16 different volume levels. And also we have the same thing, techno. You press it, if you press it, it has three different kind of predetermined sort of BPM slots. So press it, it's techno, it's 140 BPM. Press it again, it's hip hop and you can see 80 BPM appears in the top right hand corner. Disco, 120, and then hold BPM. 
uh, new move knob B, and we get more fine tune BPM, so we can go to like say 124 there. And then on the right we've got a couple more buttons here, so we've got this key button, and So this key double zero, I think, is this is like a play style. So we've got 16 different play styles. So if I play this sequence, and this ranges from arpeggios to chords to kind of transitional sort of play styles. And you just record it into the sequence there, and then I can write over it by just holding key or writing something else. Over it again. It works in the same way as the effects. So you have this effects button here, style, and this the the style, the effects are the same 16 effects as you get with the other pocket operators. So you have the high pass filter, low pass, the low sample rate, transposition. And step 16 is vibrato. And as we've looked previously, right button, say if you have, let's load in a new pattern now. Pattern 14, the moment we're not in right, so if we're going to right mode, we can step sequence our pattern. And then we can change, say this second note in the sequence here. I can change the the, the 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 note and the decay here by holding this now this this number and uh, this step in the sequence and then increase the decay or maybe decrease it and also knob A controls the note is playing so C5 I can change that right down to say E3 and say with this one take the decay down. note up on step six so you can do that remember no black keys only white keys or you can actually record the play styles into the sequence so if we're going to play this this load a new pattern now go out of right mode and then hold down the right button. And then holding down the right button, moving knob A and knob B, and you add those. That's like parameter locking. I'm loading a different sound now. And it adds those kind of, you can see knob A, knob B moving, it adds those like filters or distortions or kind of drive, depending on the sound, of course. So you can also record sequences in live as well as kind of step sequence them. So, so if we clear this pattern here, hold key double O and pattern and make sure we're not in right mode and then hold down right. Record in live, and let's say add some of the uh, micro drum sounds in here. So go to uh, hold down sound and press 16, and actually come out of right mode. Trigger something there, and then hold down right mode. and just very quickly start recording stuff in live. Really cool, really fun way to program stuff. So that's the PO16, the factory, the lead synth in this range. 
In the, in the final video, we're going to take a look at how we can sync all three of the units together and also use uh, one of the Korg Volkers as well to trigger one of these pocket operators and have quite a lot of fun with that. All right, thanks.